The relationship between bilingualism and gender has been established in the last module. Definitely, women are Chinese speaking. They learn English, that is international language. So they know at least two languages. So they are bilingual. And this bilingualism is related with both gender and work. We have discussed it in light of a research study. In the new economy and globalization, new economy means the economy that is based on industry and communication technology and digital uh, uh, resources, for example. This is called new economy. Uh, this is a part of globalization. So in both cases, women are in a better position in job market. And we already know that because of their superior language competence, skills in speaking and using foreign language. Bilingualism also have effects on the cultural roles of women. This is the new dimension that is being discussed now in this module. That bilingualism also changes their cultural role. What are those cultural roles? Women do not have access to jobs. They use vernacular mostly in the local community. And if join some bilingual talk outside their community, they commit to their own language variety. And when they do so, we say they are performing the role of cultural guardians. This is their faithfulness to their local variety and local culture and everything that is associated with that. This is their role of guardians. In such situations, men, especially the young, young people, not old people who most of the time spend uh, their life in the community, an inactive life, you can say, are the peasants, the farmers, which remain busy in their farms, and they don't have any exposure to other communities. Young people who move around from community to other community, they are also bilingual, but when they switch from one variety to the other, they don't show that kind of commitment uh, with their local variety as was shown by the women. So they are more flexible in this way. When women are hired for front roles, now this is the second situation, second context. And there would be a new cultural role. When women are hired for front roles, I have talked about them, they are bound to use standard variety of English. Uh, the variety that is imposed by the company which hires them. That may be English, that may be any other standard variety. In settings where working class educated women are hired in elite families, what happens over there? Elite families hire them for child rearing as babysitters or uh, caretakers, etc. So they can function as cultural brokers. How do they do that? They learn standard variety and culture when they teach the children under their care and code switch when they are doing informal talk with those children in playground or at dining table, so they can code switch. In this way, women interact in two different languages. And through two different languages, there is interaction of two different cultures. This is how cultural brokerage takes place. Their use of traditional variety relates with their role of cultural 
guardians. Their use of standard variety relates them with the role of cultural broker. And how do they broke such? How do they broker culture? Such women bring the elite variety and the culture of elites to their community. This is a cultural transition. Being part of both communities, they become intrasentential code switcher. Intrasentential between two sentences, intrasentential within the same sentence, they switch code, they switch from one language variety or one language to the other language. For example, see this one example. Baji, please bata de what to do next. The sentence starts in one language and ends in another language within the same sentence. This is called intrasentential code switching. And this happens when they perform two roles of, at the same time, that is cultural broker and cultural guardian. So here is a small task for your practice in intrasentential code switching. This is sometimes called code mixing. Write five sentences in which the speaker switches code in the same sentence, either in the beginning of the sen sentence or in the end of the sentence. So you will find five examples of this type of code switching. Now we come to third possibility. We have talked about two possibilities. When women are bilingual, they have interaction with outside communities, with other varieties outside their language variety. So they perform the role of cultural guardian or they perform the role of cultural broker. Now, what is the third possibility is that young women use bilingualism as an opportunity to escape from their language variety and from their local culture and their local style of life. This is also a way for escape. See, they gradually leave their traditional language. They start using frequently the second variety, the superior variety, the city variety, the urban variety. And the lifestyles it offers, they also adopt the same lifestyle, the same culture. And uh, they leave their local language and local culture and local activities. The physical labor, uh, which is often unpaid, they are in subordinating roles. They assist their husbands and uh, other family members. They get command over the standard variety in the urban community and avail opportunities offered by the new variety. This is the third possibility of bilingualism for the women. This shift to new language becomes an escape. Now we conclude there is a variation in relation between gender and bilingualism. You have seen three different contexts, three different possibilities. Young women are better than men in reaping benefits of in getting benefits of bilingualism in the job market. But it is possible, it would be possible, number one, when their local community allows them to uh, access to the higher variety and they allow them to learn the higher variety. These are two preconditions for getting these benefits of bilingualism.